Hello, I'm Tiam Singh. Welcome to another tutorial on E3D. Today, I'm going to show you how I create this nozzle reinforcement pad using positive primitive with negative cutaway. I'm going to show you how I create this reinforcement pad. Stay around. I'm going to do this in the next two minutes. Right, let's get this finished element out of the way first. In most of my video, I will try to actually not use command. So I just use the normal remove and add. We start by creating the nozzle and the vessel body, which is a cylinder. The first rectangular torus represents the head itself. You can see that in the properties, the difference between the inner and outer radius will give you the thickness of the pad. The height and angle can be any particular size as long as it's actually bigger than the radius of the pad. Next. Before this video, I've created another two rectangular torus. I use lever to temporarily hide this primitive. The important parameter here is the internal radius. And the internal radius will determine the size of the pad. So for this case, it's about 150, which is the outer diameter of the pipe plus the width of the pad. Using the two positive primitive as reference, I'm going to create negative rectangular torus to cut away from the pad. I use Q attribute for easy to cut and paste. Let's hide this primitive first. Next, we go to our pad and create a new negative torus. We just have to copy all the attributes to this negative torus. Next, we are going to copy the orientation and position. But we have to be careful, we have to add the reference to world. Without the with reference to world, it will assume that it is taking the coordinate system of the parent element. There you have it, we have the top pad done up now. So let's do the bottom pad. Let's create a negative rectangular torus using common line and let's copy the attribute as we have done before. Perhaps the paint can work here but I didn't really try. I create a variable P to store the position. CE is the current element and you use the dot notation to store the attribute to the variable. Using that, I don't have to worry about with reference to and anything else. So what I'll do is that I assign the position and the orientation to the negative rectangular torus.
So there you have it, our reinforced pad nicely created and you can delete the other two rectangular torus. So that's it, hope you like this little tip and you can start creating negatives cut away for different applications. See you, bye!